loved, I bring to you greetings of joy, peace, and grace upon you on this very first day in the month of September, the year of the Lord, the year 2022. It is indeed another amazing period in the sight of the living God, and we return all praise and thanks to God for the gift of life and for the opportunity of being among the living. We have every cause to return thanks to God for giving us the grace to enter into the ember month in the year 2022. It is my prayer that on this very first day of the month of September, the Lord will continue to manifest himself in a greater dimension in our individual lives in Jesus' name. Before we go into the depth of the world, let us pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for your ever-abiding presence in our lives. We thank you for the assurance of gift. We thank you because we can always look up to you as our Lord and our Savior. And so, Lord, we want to thank you for the very first day in the month of September 2022. As we reach out into the depth of your world, we pray that you grant us knowledge, insight, wisdom, and understanding so that it will be another refreshing time in your presence. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I bring to you greetings from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, returning all praise and thanks to God Almighty for the gift of life. I equally bring to you greetings from the head of our own church, the premier church in Nigeria, the first church that brought about civilization and gave birth to this nation, the head of our commonwealth, His Eminence, Dr. Samuel Chukwe Mekakanu Uche, the prelate Methodist Church, Nigeria. He sends his greetings of peace, convivialities, and best wishes as we enter into the embargoment. Dearly beloved, on this very first day of the month, what is the message that the Lord is bringing to us? Through the instrumentality of this Holy Spirit, the Lord has expressly declared that this is our month of exceeding grace, our month of exceeding grace. And the text is taken from Genesis chapter 17, verse number 6. Genesis 17, verse number 6, which says, And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. And I will make nations out of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. These are defined and definite promises that the Lord made to Abraham. And that same message is coming to you on this very first day of the month of September. That the Lord will make you and your household exceedingly fruitful, exceedingly prosperous, exceedingly joyful exceedingly great in every areas of your life on this very first day of the month of September. I will make thee exceedingly, and I want you to underline that word, exceedingly, without limitation, far beyond your expectation, that which you least expected, I, the Lord, will do it. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, exceedingly full of grace, and I will make nations out of thee. I will make kings out of you. These are God's promises in this month of exceeding grace. I want you to understand that in the Bible, the word grace appears 124 times. In the Old Testament, it appears 10 times. And in the New Testament, it appeared 114 times. In the Catholic tradition, we have what is called the actual grace and the sanctifying grace. And while in the Wesleyan tradition, as written by John Wesley, we have what is called the prevenient grace, the justifying grace, and sanctifying grace, and of course the glorifying grace. But this month, what the Lord is saying is that, I will make you to walk in the realm of exceeding grace unimaginable grace, grace that is far beyond your expectation, grace that will unleash, will bring about a new dawn into your life where you continue to flourish in the presence of the Lord. 
The grace of God is not determined by the economic situation of any nation. No. The grace of God is an unmerited favor that God releases unto his own people unconditionally as long as you have a wonderful relationship with him. No wonder in Romans chapter 3 verse 24, the Bible says, Yet God in his grace freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty of sin. In spite of our wickedness, in spite of our insincerity, he makes us right. He makes us right. And that is why we talk about justifying grace. God has forgiven us and set us free from the shackles of sin and given us life and make us worthy. Even in spite of our inadequacy, he has made us worthy in his sight. In this month of exceeding grace, the Lord is set to do the extraordinary in your life. The Lord wants you to enjoy to move into a realm of unprecedented prosperity and blessings as long as you are willing to give the totality of your being to Him. He wants to make things right with you. He wants to take you to another level. He wants you to continue to enjoy the grace of God, not ordinary grace, but grace that is exceeding, grace that is filled with blessing, grace that cannot be quantified, Grace that cannot be imagined by the mortal thought of men. This is the type of grace we are talking about. Romans chapter 5 verse 15 says, But the gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died by trespass of one man, how much more did God's grace and gift that came by the grace of one man, Jesus Christ, overflow? in many aspects an overflowing grace unmerited favor that is what the lord wants to release to you in this month of september on this very first day what is the nitty-gritty of this exceeding grace exceeding grace include prosperity exceeding grace include joy in the spirit exceeding grace include blessings Exceeding grace include beautiful home, wonderful children. Exceeding grace simply means divine protection. Exceeding grace simply means God's favor resting upon you. Exceeding grace simply means God coming into your situation and turning your barren land into a fruitful land. Exceeding grace simply means sorrow will be far from your tabernacle. Exceeding grace simply means the Lord doing the extraordinary in your life. Exceeding grace simply means lifting, it, lifting you up from dungeon into a state of celebrity. Exceeding grace simply means taking away your shame, taking you from lamentation, breaking the yoke of demonic stagnation in your life and releasing your life into a state of signs and wonders where you become the signature of eyes and people begin to see the overflowing grace upon your life. That is what the Lord wants to do on this very day, the very first day in the month of September and in the month of September. As we enter into this ember month, the Lord is saying to you, this is your season of exceeding grace. Releasing and taking you into the realm of exceeding grace where you struggle, F, you struggle, little struggling but you begin to enjoy the abundance of god in a way that will be stupendous and unpredictable that is what the lord wants to do the lord wants to wipe away your tears it says to abraham i will make you exceedingly fruitful and i will make nations out of thee in genesis 15 verse 1 it says after these things the word of the lord came unto abraham in a vision and says, fear not, in exceeding grace, you have nothing to fear about. I am Abraham. Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and your exceeding great reward. That is what the Lord is set to do. Giving you exceeding great reward in every aspect of your life. 
Now, what are the steps to enter into this realm of exceeding grace that we are talking about? Unimaginable grace. Grace in which you now become the, the signature of eyes. People see you and they begin to celebrate your life. People see you and they begin to celebrate Christ in your life. What are the steps to enter into this season of exceeding grace? Number one, you must be in communion with him. You cannot be in sin and continue to expect that the grace of God will abound. No, it is not possible. You must be in communion with God. Number two, you must trust him with every details of your life. Every details of your life. Our hymn says, 516, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. You must ready to entrust your life into his hand. You must trust him with every details of your life, without any pretension, without any doubt, so that his grace will continue to resonate on a daily basis in your life. The third key is that you must be ready to walk absolutely in righteousness and holiness. You must. It is, in, it is compulsory. It is mandatory. It is absolutely compulsory and mandatory that you must walk in absolute righteousness and holiness if you want to enjoy the exceeding grace of God. And number four, you must have a pure heart and a clean hand. If your heart is not pure and your hand is not clean, like the psalmist says, who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy temple? He who has a, a clean hand and a pure heart. If your heart is not pure, you are deceiving yourself. You can never enjoy the exceeding grace of God. No, you cannot. You must be ready to live a life of purity. And finally, you seek him with all your heart. When you seek him with the totality of your heart, he will release the abundance of his favor upon you. And this month of September, as we go forth into this month, I want to assure you that the Lord is taking you into the realm of exceeding grace. The Lord will bless your household. The Lord will grant you open heavens. The Lord will enlarge your coast. You will walk in righteousness and holiness. You will never fail. You will never fall. Every power challenging the veracity and the audacity of God's presence in your life. Those powers are silent now. You are released for signs and wonders. Your seed will prosper. The works of your hands will prosper. Your marriage will prosper. You will enjoy the peace of God. Your health will be perfect. Everything concerning you, heavens will make it perfect. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Until I come your way again on the very first day in the month of October, don't you ever forget this. The only one who truly loves you, who cares about your life, that has the best wishes for you, is no other one than Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the ancient of days, the one who has never failed, the one who is resolutely determined to bring you into the realm of exceeding grace. Remain rapturable. Remain peaceful. Remain joyful. Remain graceful. And continue to prosper in the loving grips of Christ. Until we meet again, remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.